Hi everyone. You may recall something I said in class. And if I didn't say it in class, it's something I should have said in class. Namely, that a key to understanding statistics is understanding sampling distributions. In this class, we're going to look at several different types of sampling distributions. Sampling distributions of means, sampling distributions of proportions, sampling distributions of difference of means. There's a number of them. But if you can understand this concept, this concept of sampling distributions, you can understand statistics. Just a little review from class. What is a sampling distribution of the mean? First of all, what it is, I mean the object itself, is you draw a number of samples from the mean, from the population. For each sample you, you calculate the sample mean and then you plot those sample means. Those, those sample means will form a histogram. So a sampling distribution is a distribution, it's a histogram of sample means, many, many, many sample means, all the same size, drawn from the population. If three conditions are met, and those conditions are that you have a random sample of some size, we'll call it size n, and it's drawn from the population, the sample sufficiently large, which typically means it's greater than 30, or the population is known to be normally distributed and the standard deviation of the population is known. If you have those three conditions, then we can say something about the sampling distribution. Again, the distribution of sample means. So what do we know? We know that the sampling distribution has a mean that's equal to the mean of the population, which makes sense. It's going to be centered about the mean of the population. It has a standard deviation that's equal to the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size, Typically with larger sample sizes, this makes the sampling distribution narrower or less variable, which again makes sense. The larger our sample, the closer we expect it to be to the real mean. And lastly, if those conditions are true, then we know that the sampling distribution is approximately normal. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to use these facts to, to work a few problems, similar to the problems I've asked you to do on homework. Okay, all of these problems are going to deal with the same example. The mean body temperature of all healthy adults is believed to be 98.6 degrees. It's a claim we hear all the time. And the standard de deviation is about 0.6 degrees. A random sample of 26 healthy adults is selected, and the body temperature for each of these adults is recorded. Okay, now here's an important sentence. For this problem, assume that the body temperature of all healthy adults is normally distributed. For this problem, and for all problems, you've got to be able to pick out the key information. First of all, we're given that the, the mean temperature of all healthy adults of the population is 98.6, so mu is 98.6. We know the standard deviation of temperature for all healthy adults is 0.6 degrees, so sigma, standard deviation of the population, is known, and it's 0 0.06, or excuse me, 0 0.6. And lastly, we took a random sample of 26 healthy adults. So n, the sample size is 26. Okay, so the first problem, and we're going to work through four of them. So the first one says, if one individual is selected from the population, what's the probability that that individual has a body temperature of 99 degrees or more? Okay, so first of all, we're selecting one individual, not a sample of 26 in this problem, but we selected one individual from the population. So if one individual is drawn from the population, which we know is normal, that basically this, this problem becomes a standard normal distribution problem. It has a mean of 98.6, a standard deviation of 0.6. Visually, you can see down here, the mean is 98.6. The, the individual score is 99. What are the chances that we, that this individual has a temperature of 99 or more. So it would correspond to this red region in the graph. The first step, as in all of these problems, is find the z-score of, of this 99. The z-score is the score itself minus the mean over the standard deviation. 99 minus 98.6 divided by 0.6 is 0 0.66666, repeating, which will round to 0.67. Remember on, on, on the table we use in our class, it only is accurate to two to the hundredths place. 
Next step is to go to the normal table, look up a z-score of 0 0.6 for the tenths, 0.67 for the hundredths, gives us a probability of 0.2486. Okay. Now, as in this table, that is always the probability of being between the mean and the score itself, so it's this region right here. But we know that 50% of the data values are greater than the mean, so the red region, the region we're seeking, is 50% minus this portion that we don't want, 0.2486, and that gives us a probability of 25.14. So the solution would be that the probability that the one randomly selected individual has a body temperature of 99 degrees or more is 0.2514 or 25.14 percent. Just to check, and you might want to do this, you can check the Rossman chance applet. Notice that the probability is slightly off. That's because it's this applet is slightly more accurate. Nonetheless, mean is 98.6, standard deviation is 0.6. What are the chances that we're greater than? So the toggles are greater than 99. The z-score is 0.6667, probability is 0.25. Again, interpreting the z-score, what the z-score again means is that the score of 99, or the temperature of 99, is about two-thirds of a standard deviation greater than the mean. Okay, problem two. Fully describe the sampling distribution of the mean for a random sample of 26 individuals. Okay, first of all, so when you describe it, you're asking for three things. What is the mean of the sampling distribution? What is the standard deviation? And what is the shape? Since the mean body temperature of all individuals, of the population, is 98.6, the mean of the sampling distribution is 98.6. The mean of the sam sampling distribution is equal to the mean of the population. For a random sample of 26 individuals, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So 0.6 divided by the square root of 26, 6 of 26 individuals, is 0 .0, point, excuse me, 0 0.1177. Lastly, and this is a little bit tricky part, notice that, that the size of the sample, which is 26, is considered small. It's less than 30. However, we're given a little more information. We're given in the problem itself and I'll go back to the problem. The problem itself says, assume that the body temperature of all healthy adults of the population is normally distributed. So even though the sample is small, it's less than 30, we know that, that the distribution of body temperature for all adults for the populations is normal. Therefore, we know that the sampling distribution itself is normal. So those are the three the three items that are needed to describe the, the sampling distribution. Okay, problem three, so we'll work a couple problems with this information. What's the probability that the average body temperature among the 26 individuals in the sample is 99 degrees or more? So this is slightly different than question one. We're not asking for the probability of a single individual, but we're asking for the probability that the average of the 26 individuals, the average of the sample, Okay, so this question is about the average temperature among the 26 individuals in the sample. Is that sample average greater than or equal to 99 degrees? Okay, so the question itself is not about an individual, but the mean of these sample of individuals. Okay, therefore, that's the reason that you use the sampling distribution, which is about the sample means. Okay, so let's use what we know about the sampling distribution of the mean. We know that it's normal. We know that it has a mean of 98.6, and we know from what we just did that the standard deviation is 0 0.1177. Okay, the, the, the graph is the same as it was with problem one. The mean of the sampling distribution is 98.6. Notice that this curve is not the population anymore. It's the it's this sampling distribution, the distribution of sample means. Our sample mean we're asking about is 99. What is the chance that this? What is the chance of finding a sample average of 99 or greater? Okay, to do that, just as we do for a normal for a sort of a normal normal probability problem, find the z-score of 99. Well, that's the sample mean 
minus the mean of the sample means over the standard deviation of the sample means. 99 minus 98.6 over the standard deviation, which was 0.1177, and it gives me a z-score of 3.4. In other words, this sample average of 99 is 3.4 standard deviations bigger than the mean. Okay. Now, with a z-score of 3.4, we can go to the table. Z-score of 3.4, 3.40 is 0.4997. Again, the table gives you the probability of being between the mean and the score. But we want to know the probability of being greater than that score. Again, so 50% of the data is bigger than the mean. So what's in this red region is 0.5 minus 0.4997. Zero, 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 0.0003. So you can conclude the probability that the average body temperature among the 26 individuals in the sample is 99 degrees or more is 0 0.0003 or 0.03%. Again, how this would look on the Rossman chance, the mean is 98.6. The standard deviation, since the question is about sample means, is 0.1177. It's the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. We want to find the probability of being greater than 99, a z-score of 3.4, and again the probability is 0 0.0003. Okay, one final problem and then we'll be done. Suppose that uh, the randomly, uh, 26 randomly selected adults had an average body temperature of 98.45 degrees. Would that lead you to, to doubt the claim that the average body temperature of all individuals is 98.6. Okay, so this is an inference. So we, we, we exclaim from when we were very small, we've been told that the average temperature of all individuals is 98.6. We collected a random sample of 26 individuals, found that these 26 individuals had a, an average temperature of 98.45 degrees. Does that make you doubt that 98.6 is the average temperature for all individuals. So this question is essentially asking about the likelihood. How likely is it that we obtain a sample mean of 98.45 or less if the mean temperature of all individuals is truly 98.6? We calculate the chance of finding 98.45 or less because we're looking for evidence that, that the average temperature is, is something different than 98.6. So we want things that are farther away. The more the the farther away the sample average is, the more evidence it would it would give us that 98.6 is not true. Is not not the true mean for all individuals. Okay. So rephrasing question four, you're really asking what's the probability that the average temperature among the 26 individuals is 98.45 or less? If the average temperature of all individuals is, I know so I have a typo here, 98.6, so that should be 98.6. As in question three, okay, so this is about the average of 26 individuals, not, in, not one, but the average of the sample. So we're going to again use what we know about the sampling distribution, that it's normal, has a mean of 98.6, a standard deviation of 0.1177. Okay find the z-score of the sample average, so it would be the sample mean minus the mean of the sample means over the standard deviation of the sample means. You find a z-score of negative 1.27. Again, does that make sense? Well, okay. That says this is truly, and it's obviously less than the mean, so we should have a negative z-score. This says that, that this sample average is about one and a quarter standard deviations less than this population mean. Go to the table. 1.27 gives me a probability of 0 0.3980. The table always gives you what's between the mean and the score. Okay, so that's 0 0.3980, but 50% fall less than the mean, so the, the percent in the red region, the probability, is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3980, which is 0 0.1020. So what you'd conclude, if the average temperature of all individuals is 98.6, then the likelihood, the chance of finding a sample average of 98.45 is 
0.1020. This is a relati relatively common event. I mean, it's greater than our threshold for what we consider rare. It's greater than 5% chance of happening. Because it's a relatively common event, we have no reason to doubt the claim that the average temperature of all individuals is 98.6. To finish up, again, if you wanted to use, just or just to check your work with Rossman chance, a mean of 98.6, a standard deviation of 0.1177, since the question's about sample averages. We want the chance of being less than 98.5, z-score of point, negative 1.27, and the probability of 0.1013. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks.